Hey guys, it's Emily Quinn Laughlin here to make some recycled art with you today. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite artists, El Anatsui, and check out how he uses recycled materials to make a difference in his community. El Anatsui is an artist and teacher in Nigeria who does large-scale installation art using recycled materials. In his process, he engages his community and creates a culture of mindfulness. Here are some of his pieces if you're not familiar with his work. Really beautiful large-scale work. I definitely encourage you to learn more about El Anatsui at Art21. There's a great video. But what I think is so powerful about his work is that he uses recycled materials. He employs local people in the process to help him make these projects, so he's helping his community. And he encourages his workers to sit mindfully while they work on it and not speak to one another, um, but sort of sit in a working meditation or a moving meditation as they make the art. So it's kind of this amazing trifold project. So since we all have a lot of recycling in our bins and free time on our hands, I was thinking we could each work on our own piece of an El Anatsui inspired art piece that we could put together after this is all over to show how we've stayed connected while quarantining and social distancing to keep one another safe. So this project is actually pretty simple in terms of materials, really just going to need any kind of box from your recycle bin, a pair of scissors, and a stapler. Normally, as you all know, I love to paint my cardboard and make it fun and personalized, but in the spirit of Ellen Atsui, who uses his own materials just as they come, we're just going to use the natural coloring on your boxes. As So you can start cutting your box into one inch little squares, and then you can start stapling them together to create a fabric of cardboard. If you really want to be daring, you can even use soda cans if you want. Just be a little bit more careful cutting those out. They're pretty easy to cut out and relatively paper thin, but getting the piece of metal cut out of the middle of the top two ends is kind of the hard part. So you can keep stapling away and creating your own fabric of recycled materials. And I encourage you to work one row at a time so that you can be mindful of the space that it takes for your stapler to reach the places you're trying to staple. It's easiest if you just move one row at a time so that you've got enough space for that. This project is a great opportunity for you to take some time for mindfulness in your day. So I encourage you to turn on some really calming music while you're doing this. And it's kind of a, a silly seeming activity in some respects. And so you can really kind of take the time to just think about, you know, what really matters in terms of how you spend your time and you can be present to your emotions and just go with the flow. It, it's not too serious. You know, it doesn't take a lot of technique. Um, you can just really get in touch with how you're feeling and, and wherever you're at and just be there with yourself. You can do however big of a piece you want. You can take as much time doing this or as little time doing this as you'd prefer. But once this is all over, you are welcome to bring these into Create PC on Main Street in Park City or mail them into the Arts Council. Um, and I will start assembling them into one large piece that represents the ways that we have stayed together by creating during quarantine. Thanks so much for joining into Recycled Art Class today. I hope everyone is staying safe and well at home. And I can't wait to see you all again once this is all over.